All right, it is day two, Tuesday, first week, summer, year two. First birthday coming up is Jazz. Not entirely sure we'll be hunting her down to give her anything. Um, kind of curious actually about uh, Corbus when his birthday is. He even has one. I would imagine he would considering the dwarf does. Nothing new on the television today. Eh, we'll collect all that stuff once we're finished with the pets. And by pets, I mean animals. And by animals, I mean livestock. There's so many of them! Come on. They're all having a mosh pit out front, which is incredibly not useful. Can't make them all happy all the time, but damn it, you can try. There's another Void Egg. We're going to keep this one. And uh, we'll be doing some gifting grounds today. Might try giving one to Corvus. I've also considered putting another one into the um, incubator, but we don't have any more room left here. So, maybe not. Come on, cow. Jesus. Here for your milk. Confused with the goats, or is there really just one goat that isn't going to give us any milk? Ha! Huh. I guess so. That's weird. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a lot of star fruit. Way, way, way more than we had last time. I'm going to have to sell some just so I can afford to get more seeds. <sighs> that was 50 right there we just picked up. So... I don't know, three... So we're going to need 20,000 20, gold pieces to be able to replace all the seeds that we just harvested. Or are we... Yeah. Yeah. I do have a seed machine. But it takes too long. <laughs> I'm impatient as hell. I've got one. <sighs> What's the materials to make more? Oh, I think the thing, uh, the problem I was having was making with me making more seed makers is the whole disparity with coal because I'm always hurting for coal. In fact, with what materials I have now, coal included, might only be able to make two of them at best. Yeah, yeah we can't wait that long. It literally only takes like 10 seconds or so. But I mean, you're taking, it's like 50 seeds though. I can't build for it. I don't have the materials for it. Let's see what we can do, though. Because if I can cut out the middleman on those seeds, that 
would kind of change things, especially with the profit margin. Let's go gather up our coal and see what we can do. I can even make some more coal if I have to. Oh, I... I know, Jones. I fucking say it every time I go down there. That's about all they drop when you go down there. And you gotta kill like a thousand of them for the wall. And... Not doing the greatest on lumber right now, either. To trade this out. Hey, Pete. Uh, found one. Not married yet. We're working on it. Uh, gold. Not going to be able to make that many anyhow. So, one and a two. Got geodes to go through as well. I'm gonna need a bit of a wider area for these. Uh, let's... Since we moved everything off this side, let's uh, throw them down up here. Get these two started on seeds. I would like one more. Four seems like it'd be more than enough. Well, three of them is more than adequate. Let's, uh... It depends on what happens. We're already up to 12 seeds. Let's go ahead and dump all this stuff. And we've got cloth now. I don't know what the hell else to do with it. Other than sell it. Let's see. No. That can stay. Jesus. So you can make star fruit jam. So we're going to check that out. All right, and it looks like we're going to have to replace I'm going to have to uh, re-fertilize the fields, too, apparently. Get out of the way, horse! Or we'll just ride off, I guess. Damn it. Damn it, man. 32? <sighs> it's Tuesday. Damn it. We're, we're supposed to be giving out gifts to people. I'm stuck replanting shit. We might ride into town to Pierre's real quick to buy a bunch more fertilizer. Probably sell some of these star fruit as well. Well, I don't know if there's like a different way you're supposed to get void chickens or not, but I got mine by buy by buying an egg from the merchant lady. I'm not sure if you're supposed to run into him some other way and get them, but whatever. No, Clint, I have other things I need to be doing. I mean, I really want to be handing gifts out to people, but I can't even afford to, because i got other shit I need to be doing. So those. Um, oh, yes.
I'd have bought more if I <laughs> if I felt if I really felt de desperate, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna save the rest of what we got. Yeah, we've already started making star fruit booze. Uh, we put some new um, some new kegs actually inside of the greenhouse to start that process. Okay, do we have anything else directly to do around here? That wool. Ugh. I guess we're gonna try selling some of that. Curious to see how much it brings back. And we can get rid of this and this. Daffodils, may as well eat them sons of bitches. Next batch of seeds, please. Hey, Miso. How many are we up to? 31. Still not as many as I want. We're probably going to have to go into the, the second batch of star fruit. Uh, so we're looking for 50 seeds. You can have water today, Miso. Just today, though. No other times. Ugh, I didn't even have to do a whole nother batch. This is going to get us more than enough seeds. I st and see, that's the thing. I haven't ran into st uh, the ancient seeds yet at all. I've heard quite a bit about them, but... We got our first peach! Which I don't think we actually need one. Because we already did the artisan thing. I just need cabbage and a bunch of other dumb stuff. Now that it's summertime, though, we might be able to find some of those ferns. like when the season changed. Or wait, no, I replanted those. Damn. I forgot to actually check if um, the fertilizer was still around when I planted those, but it looks like the fertilizer disappears at the end of the season anyways. Which kind of sucks. I think I'm going to leave those three s slots because we may end up getting more of those uh, special seeds. So we'll put the sunflowers, or the, <laughs> the star fruit seeds up. Never mind. late in the day, but we may be able to st do our rounds. I don't really need two each, though. Did we even end up keeping any of those leaks? Should have. My hand went off to George. First, let's go see the wizard. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Pretty sure those bushes become a real pain for trees, too. I had a much thicker forest last year if it wasn't for uh, the amount of bushes that cluttered together between all of them. Oh, 
No, no wife you yet. We're still working on uh, Penny, I suppose. We end up maxing her out next, but <laughs> Abigail's starting to catch up with her at this rate. Oh yeah, and I forget to grab a salad too in case we spotted Leah. But that might not even happen. There she was. A little late for that, though. Let's go see George. Oh, there's, there's Penny right there. Let's give her a regular flower. Come here! This looks nice. Stopped her right, after, uh, right before she got off the map. Yeah, this is all by yourself in front of the, the, the ranch. And your mother's definitely not out of work, Penny. Sound like a broken record, just like the rest of these people. All right. Okay, yeah, so what I heard was was right. Well, we know how to please Krobus. Selling on the geodes right now. Does he always? I think that third item changes. The first two stay, and the blueprint stays. I'm pretty sure that geodes changes sometimes. I just lost all my sound. Krobus is a shadow person. I believe that's how he was introduced to us, anyways. Go say hi to George. I'm sure he's watching television. Welcome, George. Another gloomy day. Well, at least your favorite television show is on. Couldn't care less for Alex, though. Yeah, we'll sell those spice berries. The last person we're looking for is Abigail, and there she goes. She seriously loves it. Thanks, Chlamydia. You're the best. You're an interesting lady, Chlamydia. I'm glad you moved here. Hey, you better watch out, Penny. You're going to end up living in that trailer forever. Though... So, here in seven days, Penny is going to be a lockdown. Um, just because of the melons that are growing. You know, she's a big fan of the melons, but it was a little too late last year to grow enough to give off to her. Which is unfortunate. Because Evelyn really struck, uh, really struck gold. <laughs> She got so many tulips. All right. Bait. Shipping box. Don't need that one fiber. No, thank you. I think we might go ahead and transmute some copper into iron and make our last seed maker. Wood. Oh, what the fuck? What? What was I thinking of? Because that is definitely you don't use copper or iron in seed makers. What the hell was I thinking of? Oh, it was the keg I was thinking of. Derp. Jesus. Oh yeah, and I need coal. Derp. Derp. And we've only got three. There's no way I can. There's no way I can convince myself to burn 200 wood for 10 coal. That's not going to happen. I know I wouldn't need that much because I already got a few pieces. I got three, seven in here. Three. How much did I have inside? Because if we only need one piece, that makes things a little bit different. No, we got enough. One more. Okay, never mind. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, 
They are definitely out of coal now, though. Probably should have had the seed machine set up near the uh, greenhouse. Alright. Honey is a go. I wanted to make one more hive, but that didn't happen. For obvious reasons. Six is enough, though. So we'll ride down and chop down some trees. Always needing more lumber. Oh, and... I never really paid attention. I think our bard's finished. Yeah, it's got the automated feeder. I didn't even notice. Shit. We've got to buy some more livestock now, too. Just got to make that money first. Dropped a tree on Sarah Jessica Parker. She didn't feel a thing, though. Ah, uh, the bees are all automated. You just build the... <laughs> it's like that Kevin Costner movie. If you build it, they will come and they will make the honey. No extra effort required. Seems as if just when you build one, place them on the ground. A timer starts right then and for it to start producing honey. Don't really imagine this game needs a, <laughs> a bee charming mini game. Interesting idea, though. All this stuff needs hacked down. Get out of the way of these trees. There's a lot of this grass up here. I'd like to do it without chopping down the tiny trees, though. That would be great. I better not get too froggy, though, because I'm starting to get close to more of them. Most of which I placed on the ground. Well, actually, I take that back. Almost all of these I placed on the ground. There might be a few new natural spawning um, saplings, but... That one can get hacked down, though. I don't want any trees growing all the way up here and making things more difficult for me than I've already done for myself with these. Speaking of which. Oh. I have to remember to run in between those trees every once in a while. Fertilizer. We're good. Okay. It was a good day, everybody. Just fine. You said hi to me so earlier in the day. That's good. During the night, Paul Malls uh, gave birth to a babby cow. Brashy. How about Brabby? So that only leaves us with three slots left in the um, in the barn, which I don't appreciate. So what we may end up doing is we may as well sell Paul Malls. The Mostly because Paul's Malls does all misspelled to begin with. And with how expensive everything is getting as we get uh, deeper into the tiers of livestock. Hmm. I don't even know how many we'll be able to afford anyways. Especially with only 8,600 gold. We spent the rest of it. No butchering, unfortunately. Not yet. I'm waiting on the butchery DLC. 
one day. 